Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture, we want to animate the path of the shape layer, the Bezier shapes. And uh, I will be focusing more on showing you the techniques, how to select the vertexes, how to move uh, the keyframes and so on, then doing a great animation. So if the animation is not great, please go back to the project file and try to make a better animation than I have done. So let's start animating. First of all, I don't like uh, the way this uh, shape is here. We are going to take the path and try to, you know, change a bit so it looks more aggressive somehow. Maybe we we'll give it a nose and we round it over here and something like this. Cool. Fine. So you see how I'm manipulating all this with several nodes or vertexes. Cool. So that will be okay. For example, I don't know if you like it like this. That's cool. Okay, now it's a speedy thing. Now, we wanted to start animating. What we will do is to come to the path of the shape layer, click on the stopwatch to create the first keyframe, and then we take the second shape layer, we open the path, this is the path, and we keyframe. Now, we select all our layers, and we press U to get only the keyframe of the path. Now, it's very easy to animate. It's not more complicated to go down, inside, inside to start animating. So we start from here, and uh, at this point, after half a second, our uh, ellipse here, our transformed ellipse, is going to charge on the rectangle or the back, if you like. I will select the path and shift-click, of course, to see all the nodes. Now, I want to move the ellipse. I will just hold the path. Now, notice very well, as soon as I held it, a keyframe has been created over here. Very good. It means I'm doing the right thing. If no keyframe has been created, it means I'm moving maybe the layer or something wrong. Okay, I will hold it and move it. That's not what I really want. I want to take the whole path. So I'll click on the path and just click on somewhere and just move it over here. Okay, so it's going to hit it. Let's see our animation. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. But when it comes over here, of course, it's going to hit the bag. It's going to distort the pit. So make it distort, for example. You know, it goes inside a bit, just a bit. Let's make it a bit further, take it a bit further. So I'll select the path because I want to move all of them and click and drag it just over here. Fine. So this is our animation. Here you are. You notice the distortion. It is not much, but it's okay. It's working with us. So at this point here, the bag is going to distort, but we have to be careful how we are distorting the bag or the rectangle. Because if I distort it at this point, they're going to have an animation from zero to over here. So I'll come over here and keyframe. So now it's when it starts to hit it that I will move the bag. I will go to the next keyframe and shift the click. And now here, we say, okay, you know, it has been hit, so it's really distorted. Got some stomach ache, something like this. Here you are, fine. So it has been hit. And then uh, let's see it now. Comes in, yep, that's working. You notice how you do these animations. Now at this point here, what will happen? Let's say we go after one second or a little bit less. We hold the whole bag and just move it a bit backward. Okay, and then the ellipse, maybe we move it a bit forward, so it has hit pretty hard, so just a bit forward. Cool, let's look at our animation, moving, puff, it hit it. Now, the bag gets very angry at this stage from here. So, we give it a less than a second, you know, just a few frames, and we keyframe both of them to have a stable movement is nothing is happening then over here the bag now is going to retaliate is going to hit it with its own stomach here you are like this we select this node and then we just move it so it is it with its stomach cool so we notice that it's hitting and it's gonna hit with the stomach so over here when it starts hitting i'm gonna keyframe the path for the modified ellipse and then when it's coming out Okay, over here is gonna go backward, but it is hit. So we are going to press shift and click and, uh, you know, deform this one like it has been hit very hard on the nose or something like this. Okay, whatever you like doing it, just do it the way you are. Cool. Let's look at our animation and look at it. Poof, puff. Okay, fine. Now the ellipse gets very angry. 
and they stop here for a few frames with keyframe you notice how i do stable animations here then over here what happens is the ellipse is gonna take a revenge do not move the layer if you move the layer now that you are moving the path then things are not gonna be correct for you if you wanted to move the layer you should have started moving the layer from the beginning there is a way to do that also so now it has hit and it's going backward cool then it's gonna stay you see it's staying on a position stable then from here to here okay it's gonna hit a very fast debug cool guys but it's gonna change its form its shape it's gonna become like a bullet maybe can we do that you think guys you know just a nice powerful bullet or something like this okay let's see how this will look and uh, this is too straight here actually it's nice okay let's see so it's coming and let's press now poof. It really hit very hard. Let's play it all. Boom. Okay, that's too fast here. And what we want to do is to ensure that, you know, there is some kind of movement later on here. Okay, and then it moves it like this. Now, the bag gets the hit. So here we are going to keyframe the bag just before it is touching it. Let's say just over here. We keyframe the bag, that's the stable position now. And then when it hits it hard, the bag has taken a very big hit and it's gonna come out. So we select the path, we press a shift click and uh, it has taken the hit. It's very hard hit. Here you are, very hard. The guy is like, he's having a loss of pain. And here you are here. Wow, boom. you know, it's coming out from the outside. Then after a few frames from here, the guy just moves so we select the whole path and it comes out let's see if we have succeeded we press spacebar boof, tuck, and again cool now of course when the hit is final here the ellipse is going to change its shape Might make sense to you of course you can do whatever you want i'm just showing you what you can do so here it's going to be very happy i will select these two and move them backward and then correct, select the other one and move it over here. And now it's very happy. Cool, guys? Fine. Let's see our animation again. I would like to see it. Move. And then it comes out. And here you are. But notice it's too speedy. Too speedy from here to here. So what we'll do is to make it less speedy. Okay. It goes back. This is the place where it is. We keep it here for a few frames then we move it here and then it comes to the middle okay and then start jumping up and down jumping out of joy so it goes up okay we don't want to take it above the screen so we we'll do like this then we go up here we shift click and then make it like this or like this it's coming back to its own form its own shape maybe any story that you want to create we go back to 100 percent to fit and then so it came like this and coming up and then it comes down we select the path all together and it goes down and then it goes up again then it goes down again okay whatever you want the same way and then it goes up again and then when it goes down this time it's gonna go down hit the floor shift the click and then it's gonna spread all over the floor it is dead from joy and happiness because it has won the match of course you can add opacity here to remove it let's look at our animation did you do anything nice and here you are Poof. okay hey i'm happy Poof. and it's gone so exactly with a lot of fun you can do a lot of animation with this one i hope you have gotten the system you understood how to create these bezier shapes and how to create you know fantastic animation i wanted to make it amusing for you you can add over here for example when it's coming down just over here you can open the opacity we press shift a t to get the opacity we keyframe the opacity at 100% and when it's spreading completely it just fades away and disappear here you are 
Let's run all any, our animation and see exactly if it's good enough. Cool. We had a lot of fun. It didn't come out exactly like I was planning. And I had a lot of plans for this. But nevertheless, I'm sure you got the system and you got how to animate these ones. Now, what you do to create these great animations is not to do like I've done now. You should write a script. Not really a script like a movie, but you say, okay, I want the shape to do like this. Then the shape will move this way and the other one should move this way and write it down. Because when you write it down, you will follow it. If you don't write it down, I'm surely going to play a lot of tricks and at the end you have a different animation. So it's better to have a strict animation in the beginning according to what you have written and then you can uh, change it, make it better and so on. It's called a script for the story. I'll see you in the next lecture and I hope you had a lot of fun and it has been very amusing. That's the purpose. Have fun with motion graphics. I'll see you in the next lecture.